Hello Virgo, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what you can expect in love and who you might be dealing with, what do you need to know about the energies between you, and then finally we'll look at what you can expect in the near future. As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate for every Virgo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, so for Virgo, messages for Virgo spare. What's coming Virgo's way in love? Or what's coming Virgo's way in love? This one down here. Strong bonds, family, union, partnership. There are strong bonds in this connection. So some of you might be um, in some sort of um, family or um, like maybe you have kids together or are in some sort of union, maybe marriage. What else for Virgo? Messages for Virgo, please. Oh, I forgot to wear my bracelets. Where are they? It's for going to know for love. Falling leaves, changes, transition, time. Time changes everything. I've changed this card, but for now, this is what it looks like in this deck, but I changed the, the style of that one with, with the same words. So some sort of changes are happening here between you and the person that this reading is about. Um, there's maybe either a lot of time has passed in this connection or there's some transitions that you're taking as a couple. Um, things are changing, basically. So let's see if we can get some more information here. Some of you could be dealing with someone who has a family. That's just for Virgo, please. Just some romance that you do about here. What does Virgo need to know regarding love? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, and subscribed. I really appreciate it. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay. What else for Virgo? In terms of love. Just for need to know when it comes to love. Oh. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay. That's for Virgo. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. What in the world? Release your ex. Something from the past. I feel like one of you in this connection has a partner they need to let go of. That's what I'm seeing so far. And I would express your love. It's almost like Someone needs to open up how they feel about something here. Not just love, just in general. Like there's something unspoken between you. And there's an X involved. So let's see what the tarot says. Using the Radiant Wise Square deck, all of the decks that I'm using are linked down below. What does Virgo need to know? What's coming their way in love? What's coming, Virgo's way in love? All right, Virgo, let's see. What's coming your way in love, Spirit? What messages do we need to know for Virgo? That one flipped over. Nine of Wands. What messages do we have for Virgo in love? Four of Swords. What else do we have for Virgo? Three of Cups reverse. See, there's there's a third person. There's an X here or something from the past here. I feel like for some of you, um, there might be no communication or little communication between you and this person. This ex, this third party could be a family.
I feel like someone's doing some serious thinking um, about their current situation, about their next move, maybe healing from whatever this is, this Nine of Wands. This is someone that's been through it. Either one of you in this connection has gone through a lot in love, um, or um, you've both in your connection, your connection has gone through a lot. A lot of baggage here, trust issues, um, not giving up on love, not giving up on, you know, moving forward, but still it's like it's taking its toll here. Whatever's happening between you. Let me clarify these energies, please. Okay, let's look at this nine of wands first. Tell me about this nine of wands. What's this about? This is nine of wands about. Page of swords. So watching, but what are the people in this card are watching? This is nine of wands about. Being curious about each other. Knight of Pentacles. Maybe that someone wants to communicate. They've been watching you and they want to communicate about a new opportunity. Make an offer here. And overcome whatever happened with the Five of Swords. This is this right here. This is like a golden opportunity with the Knight of Pentacles. They take a really long time to make an offer because they want the offer to be right. Um, but slow and steady, right? It'll still make it to its destination. I feel like this offer, it's almost like whatever happened that put a toll on this connection, I feel like it, it led to like a different, a difficult ending, some sort of um, bad communication or an argument here. And it's like someone wants to talk about this, talk about what happened and make an offer. Tell me about this Four of Swords. Tell me about this Four of Swords. What's this Four of Swords about? Nine of Swords. Stress and thinking, reflecting. Tell me more about the Four of Swords, please. Six of of wonder. Someone's wondering if they're going to get rejected. I feel if maybe um, this will be successful. If this will be difficult. There's an anxiety here. Maybe due to um, lack of communication. We have the wheel of fortune. This goes here with falling leads, changes, time. Big events, a turning point here. There's a big change happening in this connection with the Wheel of Fortune. It's divinely guided, and it's going to happen in the time it's meant to, but I have a feeling that this has been a long time coming, or there's been a lot of, um, I feel like this. someone stressed out about this offer or this communication because it's been, some time has passed. But this Wheel of Fortune is going to allow someone to make a move with the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Three of Cups reverse. What's this Three of Cups? I mean, we kind of know, but what's this Three of Cups reverse? What can you tell us, Spirit, about this Three of Cups reverse? Eight of Cups reverse. I feel like someone's returning to a, a third person or another person. I feel like... um. Or it could be that someone's unable to leave a third party or unable, let's see, because this Eight of Cups reverse can mean that someone is returning that once left or that they're unable to leave. Tell us about this Three of Cups reverse there. For Virgo. Knight of Cups reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and then we have... Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, by the way, if anybody's curious. 
Tell me more about this Three of Cups reverse. The Fool reverse. And the Page of Pentacles at the bottom. I feel like there's an interference here that is blocking a message, blocking an offer, blocking a new beginning, even blocking a return, possibly. Um, for others of you, there's a possibility here that someone leaving, uh, leaving this third party would be a huge risk. Something with finances with the Page of Pentacles. I'm just thinking that it's like almost like after this person returns or leaves a situation, um, there's it's like they're only going to be able to give you something small. I'm also getting that someone is leaving a third party because of even the chance of a new opportunity. Like they're not even sure if this Page of Pentacles is for sure. Uh, but just the idea of a new opportunity, even a small one, is kind of like a motivator here. I have the three of wands right behind that. So maybe someone's just wait, waiting for the right time. Can I get one more for this? Um... Three of Cups Reverse. Yeah, one more, please. There's Three of Cups Reverse. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. I feel like this person is in some sort of a commitment here. And then I have Justice at the bottom, Libra, Energy. I feel like someone's like in a commitment here or something binding. There could be a legal matter involved. There could be children involved because I have strong bonds. What's the potential outcome here for Virgo? What's the potential outcome here? potential outcome here for Virgo. What's the potential outcome here for Virgo? And this other person. Page of Swords. These cards are so flimsy. What else? What is the potential outcome here for Virgo and this person? Knight of Cups. Whoever's trying to delay uh, this Knight of Cups or whatever message is blocked here, I feel like someone's going to express themselves. Um, I don't think it's going to be a, a block that's um, like forever. Potential outcome for Virgo. Five of Cups. Something with the past. Someone needs to let go of the past. I have the Four of Pentacles reversed here. Maybe they're holding on to something from the past that needs to be released. Now with Page of Swords reversed, I feel like um, it's almost like someone's unable to tell you the whole story. And there's the Six of Cups that wanted to come out there. With the Three of Swords at the bottom reverse. Tell me about this Page of Swords reverse. Why is this page of swords reversed here for Virgo Spirit? Ten of Swords. Maybe because of what happened. Maybe because of the ending. Maybe someone's not going to be able to be completely honest with you about an ending here. Maybe they're not going to be able to tell you the whole story right away. Possibly out of fear. Ten of Wands. Yeah. There's a lot of baggage here with this Four of Wands. Ten of, wand, ten of Wands here. It's almost like someone's, um, either this is keeping them, this baggage, this ending is keeping them from communicating, or whatever they're communicating to you, 
Um, it's not the whole story, possibly because it's a lot. Tell me about this Five of Cups. Okay, tell me about this Five of Cups. I feel like someone here is, is kind of wondering if their offer is going to be accepted, if they're going to have a new opportunity. Maybe they're regretful over the past because this cup wasn't what they thought it was going to be. More communication. Yeah, definitely. Expect some sort of offer from this person, some sort of communication from this person. I have the Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, two other messengers here, as well as the Knight of Cups reversed over here. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. What's What changes are happening with this Wheel of Fortune? Spirit, why is this Wheel of Fortune here? Oh, we got the Six of Cups and the Devil Reversed. It's almost like there's someone that's going to be breaking free of an unhealthy bond. Strong bonds. They're breaking free from that. In order to do, to, because of the past. It's almost like uh, coming back to the past or thinking of the past in the present. Capricorn energy with the devil. Can I get one more for this Wheel of Fortune? And I feel like there's a lot of anxiety or fear here with the Nine of Swords. Yeah, High Priestess Reverse. This is opening up expressing how someone feels a revelation of some sort now this third party does not have to be another person it can be um distance family friends money um fear but i think it's i think it's another person for a lot of you because i have released your ex here strong bonds uh, King of Pentacles here. Typically, he is in a commitment and sometimes he even has killed uh, children. A lot of, well, yes, he is like the father. So, I have a feeling that there's some something here involving kids for a lot of you. It does not have to be every one of you, but for a lot of you. And I feel like a third party interference is what's kind of keeping things stuck. And it's this Wheel of Fortune is going to come along that helps someone break free. And I feel like all this time someone has been, you know, struggling to, to, to deal with whatever has been happening for them. Whether it's you or your person, Virgo, you've been through a lot. And it's like throughout all of that, they were still keeping an eye on another person. Like still watching, waiting, wanting to fix what happened. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, subscribes. I really appreciate it. Your likes and your subscribes help out the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in a, another video. Take care.